so we decided to cut through Oregon without much stops, without any nice parks or anything. So we spent the whole day driving through and Interstate 84 is pretty much always on. last high stop with a nice view over the landscape and we chilled here did some editing because there's like network one of the rare places bunch of solar panels these probably power the whole city nearby. We stopped at a nice camp campsite. It was free and on the river uh, with a nice sunset. We kind of wanted to stay here so I put out my table and did some work. Safari was doing a lot of swimming. It's a nice sunset. Fortunately, after the sunset, like half an hour later, it was like the world's biggest meeting of mosquitoes. So they kicked us out. But up till then, it was pretty nice place. This is where we woke up. His tent keeps fucking falling apart. So stupid windy. Oh. We're just chilling with Safari in the car. It was a nice place to camp out. There was a lot of windsurfers. It was really windy. Back on the road, my 84, Safari is tired after lots of swimming again with the windsurfers. And then we saw a bunch of kites in the air and there was a kiteboarding event on the same river, just a mile ahead. And it looked like a band life meetup, there were like 100 bands at least. all kinds of vans, new and old. I guess that's what kite surfers do.
that's it for our quick run through Oregon just wanted to get it out of the way because next we are heading to Mount St. Helens a volcano that should be cool that's it till next time click the like button if you actually watch this it's free